In this video, I'll explain how to remove JavaScript array elements using the splice method. In JavaScript, the splice method allows you to remove one or more elements from any position in an array. So here I've got this array called foo with six elements. And I'm going to use console dir when I call splice so I can immediately see the results of uh, my call to splice. So the first argument that you pass to splice is the position you want to start at. So zero means start at the beginning of the array. And the second argument is how many elements you'd like to remove. So here I'm saying starting at zero, I'd like to remove one element. So it's going to start at zero and remove one element, which is the letter A. So it, and it will always return the removed elements in a new array, and it does change the original array. So I should see as a result of this, a new array with the letter A. So now I see that I have a new array with the letter A. And if I inspect foo, we'll see that it's missing the letter A. So it, it actually changed the original element. It removed the first element and returned the letter and uh, returned it in a new array. So if I were to call this again, I should get the letter B uh, in a new array, and I do. And then if I, if I inspect foo, we'll see that B has been removed. So it's, it's really important to remember that the splice method changes the original array. So if, I'm, if I redefine foo here, now it's got six elements again. And then let's say I want to remove two elements. So I say foo.splice starting at zero, two, and I should get a new array with the letters A and B inside of it. And then when I inspect foo, we'll see that the letters A and B have been removed and so forth. Um, there's, you can definitely remove, you know, more than one or two elements. You can, you know, remove every element in the array, in the array if you'd like. Also, uh, something to keep in mind is that if you call splice without any arguments, it will actually return an empty array. So here's an empty array because there were no arguments passed to splice. And if I inspect foo, we'll see that the original array is still intact because nothing was removed. Now, finally, an important thing to remember about splice is that you can also start from the end. So let's say I want to start at the end I want to start with the fourth to last element in the array and remove three elements. So the fourth to last element is C, one, two, three, four. So I'm saying start at the fourth to last and remove three. So it should return a new array with the letters C, D, and E, and it does. And then the original array, foo, has those letters missing. So um, it's a pretty powerful method, and the, the most really helpful thing about it is that shift and pop allow you to remove the very first or the very last elements, which is helpful. But with splice, I can remove the very first element, the very last element, the last two elements, the first three elements, anything I want. And all you have to do is specify the position you want to start at and the number of elements you'd like to remove, and it returns those removed elements in a new array and it does change the original array. If you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button right under the video. You can also take a look at my blog where there are many articles and tutorials about web development. Thanks very much for watching.